Good morning everyone, um, I'm going to vlog today, it's super early because I'm going to Hershison's, the hairdresser in town, I booked this ages ago and I was like I just want to get the first appointment, get it out of the way so I can get on with work, so I've got an appointment at quarter past eight, I don't know what I was thinking, it's so far in town, anyway I'm up, I'm having some breakfast, um, I'm very excited to get my hair done. I don't know what he's gonna do, I feel so bad. I'm seeing Adrian, I'm seeing him when my hair is at its absolute worst. Um, so I'm intrigued to see what he's going to do with it, but I'm excited for a fresh cut. I've got a video coming up soon where I'm, I have my hair curly all weekend and I talk in depth about it, but I had to film it before this. So sorry if the order of my videos um, are a bit funny. This always happens when I have a haircut. But anyway, he's probably gonna end up cutting quite a lot of the color off and hopefully evening out, evening out some of the length. But I'm excited to go into town, do something a bit normal, have someone else wash my hair. Oh, what a luxury. And I'll bring you guys with me. Poor Adrian. I said to him, I was like, I'm so sorry, my hair is at its absolute worst at the moment. He had to work with like this awkward two length thing I've got because my hair's all broken and snapped off. He's done very well. We went quite short because it just of the crazy two length going on. And the front is still quite heavy because of it, but he's definitely evened it out a bit. So it's a bit more gradual and less like short long. Um, he's so great. I'm so happy with it. Um, Rich is actually going to go see him next week. It's like his first posh haircut. He's very excited. Um, right, we are gonna head home. We actually quickly popped into JD Sports because town is dead, because it's like so early in the morning. We had to quickly go get Gray some shoes, baby shoes, so cute. We got her some little Adidas gazelles and we needed to get her some dark shoes because her white shoes get so dirty. So we did that and now we're gonna head home. I've just clipped these um, front bits up. I think that's gonna become a bit of a thing until they grow out because they're just a little bit heavy on the front of my face. Um, but I'm so happy with shorter hair, just feels so healthy. And actually he said for curly hair, he's really impressed. And hairdressers always say this, he's like, I'm really impressed with how soft your hair is. It's not coarse and it's very easy to straighten and curl. And he's like, it's actually stronger than I thought it was. It's just those, that front section. So I think if I just like lay off the color, it'll get better. We've just popped to Regent's Park because like we thought whilst we were in town, it's really beautiful weather. We'll just come to a playground really quickly for Greg. because she's been in the car a lot this morning. There's an amazing new playground called like Gloucester Gate Playground that was recently done up like in September and it's like beautiful for a playground. It's really, really nice. It's like a giant sand pit. I can't really show you because there's kids everywhere. But it's like rocks and like massive slides and it's cool here, isn't it? Huh? Got a mountain climber. Gray, are you trying to climb the wall? Gray has discovered uh, cli rock climbing, apparently. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Isn't this just like the nicest playground? <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. Okay, now that I'm home, let me actually show you the cut. So, can you see? Oh, I just think he's so, he's so good. It's not his fault that I've got these weird front bits. Um, I need to just sort that out. How can I make you guys a little bit taller? Okay, so I just got three parcels delivered, which I'm very excited about. I don't get that much post anymore um, on purpose, kind of. I always ask people to email me first before they send anything and if it's not relevant. It doesn't always happen. I'm pretty sure these are, I have no idea what they are, but I thought I'd open them on camera with you guys. Ooh, this is stuff from L'Occitane. Top to toe almond collection. Oh, I love their almond stuff. The almond shower oil, almond hand cream. I love these little tubes. The milk veil and liquid soap. Okay, let's see what this is. Gray's outside on her new trampoline. She absolutely loves it. It's an early birthday present. Hourglass Equilibrium Skincare. Has Hourglass always done skincare? Or is this new? I feel like this is new. We're delighted to introduce you to Hourglass's new Equilibrium skincare collection. There's a cream cleanser, a restoring essence, and a hydrating eye balm. Here's the kind of imagery. Oh, so nice in this box. So three products, a cream cleanser, an essence, and an eye cream. I wonder if it's got fragrance in it. Oh, I'm gonna look into this more and give it a little go. That's exciting. Okay, one more. Oh, 
Oh, I'm very excited about this. This is from Le, Le Girl et Le Boy, <laughs> which is confusing because it sounds like it's French, but girl and boy in French is not girl and boy. Anyway, it's a really cool brand. They do like a lot of loungewear and they do underwear, like long laundry. This is cool, it comes in little like paper packaging. They asked me what I wanted, so I'm trying out the sport crop top. I got that in a large, which actually looks like it's gonna be way too small. Oh no. I thought a large would be perfect, but that, they come up small, <laughs> but I also got a loungewear set. Oh, I really like the color. It's always kind of like a peach. So they're like oversized bottoms and excited to try this on. This is the hoodie. Feels very, very soft. Okay, I'm excited to try that on. I like how the logo is like in the same color as the clothes. Okay, I'm gonna make some lunch, I think, because it's about one o'clock. I have no idea what I'm gonna make. Um, and chill out a bit, do some work, because it's afternoon, I'm doing something very exciting. I'm going wedding dress shopping with my friend Debs. She's had quite a lot of appointments, like before this lockdown, and then she's had a couple since this lockdown has ended. I haven't been able to go to any with her because obviously there's been like restrictions on how many people can go with, but I'm allowed to go today and I'm free. So I thought it would be so nice and really special because I haven't really been able to like celebrate her engagement properly because we've, you know, it's been lockdown and all of that. So it'd be so nice to see her um, trying on a dress. Obviously I'm not gonna be able to show you inside and I won't be able to show you what sort of dress she's trying on, but I've seen some of the type of dresses that she's trying and they're just beautiful. So I'm really excited. It's about an hour drive from here. So that'll probably take up most of my afternoon. Okay, I'm in Brick Lane and I'm gonna go into the wedding dress appointment with Debs. I'm so excited to see her in a wedding dress. Like what a special day can't wait so I'm gonna head in there maybe afterwards I'll vlog with her if she's up for it so weird to be in Brick Lane I haven't been here in years sorry I obviously couldn't vlog in there um but I think she may have found the one. Oh my god it was just so beautiful I felt really special being a part of that um it was really nice to just do something normal as well um so now I'm gonna head back home bit of a long journey home and I'll see what's going on when I get back where I've come home to best part of the day taking off my makeup I don't use um, bamboo pads anymore because I just use the same muslins I use for my face for my eyes so I just use a little bit of bioderma and just press on my eyes and I'm trying not to like drag them too much it's just to get rid of the mascara so if I don't rub too much it kind of doesn't affect my eczema Still using and loving the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. So quick and easy. I just take a little bit on my finger and it just melts away all my makeup. And I take that over my eyes just to get rid of the excess. I'm kind of half whispering because Richard's just doing bedtime with Grey. I'm gonna go join him in a minute. And I just use a warm cloth. Then I'm just gonna use my Allies of Skin Promise Keeper Blemish Sleeping Facial. I just take like two pumps. And that's all I tend to use at night. Oh, I love it. it. Keeps my skin chilled, basically. Just have to make sure I don't get any on my lips because otherwise they get a bit sore just because it's like active. Grey is in bed and now is operation clear up. Um, it's actually not that bad. We've just got to put some toys away. This is her little kind of climbing frame. It's like a wooden slide. And, oh, this has a name, it's something, like something triangle. I think it's a Montessori thing. Um, it's from the Kid Collective. It was very kindly gifted to us and I absolutely love it. Obviously it looks really nice in the home, but it's just taught her so much about climbing. Like she's got so good at climbing from this. You can take the slide off and just use this as a little climbing frame. She like plays with her toys up and down the slide. It's so, so fab. So that's gonna stay out. I need to put all of the Lego away. Sorry I didn't finish vlogging the other day. I don't know what happened, but guys, we're in Covent Garden. This feels so surreal. I haven't been here for so long and like everything's open and life is back and I'm excited to show Grey. I mean, we forgot her buggy for the first time ever. We've never ever forgotten her buggy <laughs> on the one day that we come to Covent Garden. So I'm kind of paranoid that we're gonna lose her and Rich is gonna have a proper arm workout carrying her. 
but I think it's gonna be nice hopefully we'll find somewhere to have lunch outside and I don't think we'll do some shopping but it'll be nice to just walk around we're currently borrowing an electric car and we just had to pay in Westminster we paid for 10 minutes parking and it gives you four hours how much did you pay 85p. 85p that's unreal we're 100 percent getting an electric car so good and congestion free oh, nino she's just excited to see a police car oh my god it's just so nice to take her somewhere different now you can chase the birds in covent garden <laughs> actually so quiet what time is it 10 past 11 10 past 11 very quiet on a sort of Saturday morning. Whilst it's so quiet, we thought we'd come into this massive boot, which is like the best one in London. It's all beauty stuff. Have a little look in there. I used to come into shops and shop for myself, but now I know we've got about a 10, 15 minute window, so we're going straight to kids. We're in Arquette. I just love their kids stuff. You're gonna press the button. Wearing a Rinkoff's bakery mask. Oh, you look scary. <laughs> just found this 50% off. How cute. A little black denim like pinafore dress it's really lovely being out um, it's quite stressful though food wise gray normally gets hungry about 11 30 most places open at 12. um but obviously because of covid and only being able to eat outside everywhere's so booked up like everywhere we've managed to find a little table at petersham nursery it's great no cooking um and rich's gone to see if there's anything that she can eat but i think it's all like quinoa salads maybe she'll eat it look how nice and normal this is we've got salads baby chinos coffees which is having a sandwich, sitting outside in Covent Garden. Oh, this feels so nice. I got um, a half black iced tea, half lemonade, which is like an Arnold Palmer from Starbucks. They've got a new cup, so it's like a sippy cup, like there's a hole there, so you don't need a straw, which I thought was pretty clever. I literally never go to Starbucks, I haven't had this for so long. Grey's hijacks, Rich's mask. Pretty sad that she knows how to wear a mask, right? We had the nicest morning in Covent Garden. We even bumped into someone we knew and it just felt like a little bit more normal. For anyone wondering, in the UK, you don't have to wear masks when you're outside, um, just because I know there's like a lot of confusion because obviously every country has different rules. Um, and at the moment we can eat outdoors and yeah, it was just a really, really lovely morning. I'll show you what we got. <laughs> Grey's on the trampoline. Actually, I didn't get anything that interesting. It's not really worth showing you, but from Boots, I got the L'Oreal Magic Retouch Precision. Yeah? You can keep your shoes on. I got one of those like retouch ones because I've got like maybe five, five to seven gray hairs and I don't want to like color my hair because it's not worth it. Like I don't want to color the rest of my hair just for those grays. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, but I feel like this might help. I also, Freddy, stop barking. I also got a Denman brush because when I do wear my hair curly, I see all the like curly girls um, using this to kind of section out like and like clump their curls. Um, and a Denman brush is a pretty much a classic, so me and Grey can share that. We got an IS magazine, Inside Success magazine. Some guys were selling that. It's for like a charity. It's actually really cool. Um, Inside Success Union, it's called. I'll link it below if you guys want to look into it. And this is the dress from Arquette. Zip at the back, pockets at the front. I love it so much. I really hope it fits her. So do it tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Great. What's wrong? What? Oh, you don't like the barking? No. Oh, that's why you were crying, because Freddie was barking Nuki. next door. We're trying to wean Grey on, off her bottles. She only has them at night. But it's like the comforting suck. She doesn't really like any other bottles. Also, I wanted to show you guys. Look at this jumper that I'm wearing. It says 1987. It's by my friend. Say it with thread. I'll link her down below. She very kindly sent it as a gift to match my friend Deb's who got me. Okay, bedtime. Don't worry, he's not barking anymore. Yeah. No, she wants to see him. Oh, you want to see him? Yeah. Okay, he's gone to bed. I'm going to finish this vlog now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will see you next week for another video. Great, can you say bye? Bye. Good girl. All right, I will see you soon.